These Ravens stay getting busy, man. I'll be telling y'all, these Ravens, they don't just do one thing per day. Every time they do something, they got to do like four, five, ten things all in one day, all within like one hour and a half, man. They're crazy like that, but that's why we love them, right? And if y'all love hearing about the Ravens, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video so YouTube can keep sending them your way. Now, something that the Ravens keep sending our way is news. They always do this. They drop bombshell after bombshell after bombshell after bombshell, and then they drop some smaller stuff too. But this is what they do. So we're pretty much used to it, even though it's still kind of crazy, but we're crazy. So that's why we all Ravens fans. But anyway, the Ravens today, they let go of a couple of guys. They let go of a couple of wide receivers. One of them who a lot of us weren't even sure last year if they had really signed. Because we had heard they signed him. But we hadn't seen one of those pictures. You know when they showed a picture of the receiver signing the contract and smiling in that office. But we hadn't seen that. And that was Andy Isabella. And then we heard that, oh, man, he hadn't arrived at Baltimore yet. And then it was just a the whole mix-up. But he made it. And he actually played. I remember when he first got uh, activated for a game. And I was like, whoa, Andy Isabella is actually going to play? And then they had him do some end rounds and whatnot. And I was like, wow, so he is real. But unfortunately... Uh, Andy is Isabella's run as a Baltimore Raven, at least for now, because, you know, with, with Baltimore Ravens, like we was talking about this with, with Lacey DaCosta when we had on the other day, that if you leave on good terms, if you don't burn your bridges, you could always come back. There's always an opportunity. There's always a chance that you could be back. And we've seen that with a lot of different players over the years. But Andy Isabella was released today, and so was wide receiver Michael Thomas. Not the Saints' Mike Thomas, but... The Ravens, Michael Thomas, former, I believe he was a former Cincinnati Bengal too. Maybe a former Jaguar, but a former Bengal. But anyway, the Ravens released both Andy Isabella and Mike Thomas. So we'll see. We'll see if the Ravens decide, you know what? Hey, they bring one or both of them back at some point in time because you never know. Because that's exactly what they're doing with this next player. Somebody who they had on the team last year. Uh, he was on the practice squad, but then they released him from the practice squad. And somebody I was thinking last year may actually make the active roster as an undrafted rookie free agent wide receiver, especially because Ravens didn't really do anything at wide receiver last year. They signed Demarcus Robinson, but that was really it. They didn't draft anybody, anything like that. They didn't trade for anybody. So I was thinking, okay, this guy got a shot. And then, you know, my guy, Shamar Bridges, I, I was really hoping that he had a shot too. But anyway, Makai Polk is back. Familiar face returning to the Baltimore Ravens. Makai Polk uh, is back in the building. Uh, when Ravens cut him last season, he headed over to the Giants. Spent some time with them on their practice squad, but now the Ravens brought him back. So he has returned. So look, man, hey, the Ravens, like, they got a lot of wide receivers. They have some proven wide receivers. They have some receivers who are on the cusp of proving themselves. And they have a lot of potential guys, and I like that. I like that it's a big mix of everybody in the room. Uh, it's some guys that's unknown and some guys that's known and everything in between. So I love it because the more you have there, the more quality you have there, especially you keep adding bodies like the Eric DeCosta and them been doing, that will make the competition that much better. Now, we know there's some spots that are already set. Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, uh, Zay Flowers, probably Devin DuVernay. Those spots are set. But then, oh, Nelson Aguilar. My apologies, Nelson. My, my, my bad, Nelly. But those spots are pretty much set. So you got your, your, your five guys. Well, shout out to the, the burgers and them, them fries. Oh, them fries be so good. But anyway, so you got your five guys that are essentially locks. But then after that, it's like, ooh, even if Ravens only keep one other receiver on the roster, it's tight, though, because they're still practice squad. Practice squad going to have their share of receivers as well. So guys are going to really be trying to show out, man. And like we talked about yesterday, with Rashad Bateman starting off on the physically unable to perform list, that gives everybody else under him that much more of an opportunity. With Odell Beckham Jr. being a veteran, you know they ain't going to be working him like that. Especially with him. I know he probably going to say, hey, coach, I could do everything. But coach going to be like, no, you will not do everything. You missed all the last year and you had this injury that you've been dealing with for the past couple years. No thanks. You won't be doing everything. Not at this training camp. So Odell Beckham Jr., he'll be practicing and all that, but he ain't going to be out there like that, like that. So more room for the other guys. They're going to have their opportunities. So we look forward to it. But uh, Ravens also, they put 
uh, long snapper Nick Moore um, on the uh, non-football injury list. And uh, then that opened up a roster spot for Melvin Gordon. So he is officially, officially uh, a Baltimore Raven. And they, they did show him with the hype video. You know, they showed the people walking in the building and stuff for training camp. So, yeah. So that was cool. Anyway, it's Team Keep It Clean. I just wanted to give y'all that update before y'all head off to bed. Another busy, busy day tomorrow. Um, so y'all just, again, subscribe. Subscribe and turn your notifications on so you do not miss a single thing. I love y'all so much. Look at that boy, Justin Herbert. He done got paid now. Next up, Joe Burrow. So any day now. And it was like them two. Seemed like them two were just waiting for each other. Herbert was like, all right, bro, when you going to go? Burrow was like, all right, Herbert, when you going to go? They just sitting there looking at each other. Doing a little Spider-Man thing. Just pointing at each other in the room. Just looking back and forth. But now Herbert done got his bread. He got his bread. So next up is Joe Burrow. When is he going to get his bread? Will it be this year? I, I think it'll be this offseason. Because, I mean, Lamar, Herbert, they done made it easier for you. Jalen Hurts, they done made it easier for, for Joe Burrow. All you got to do is add two more meals to the contract and boom. That's it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes because that's usually what it is. It's usually like two mil more, 2.5 mil more than the previous contract when it comes to these quarterback contracts. But it's a wait and see approach. Yeah, I mean, and it's not even a uh, wondering if it'll happen, but more so when it'll happen. Because I, I talked to a couple people today. They're like, oh, Bengals ain't going to pay Joe Burrow. Like, what? Bengals ain't going to pay Joe Burrow? You know Bengals going to pay Joe Burrow. You know, you know, you know they're going to take care of Joe, Joe, Joey B. So, anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all keep being great people. I, I, I thank you for everything that y'all do. I thank y'all for always being positive. I thank you for always just sharing positive experiences with me on here with each other. I appreciate how y'all are. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all for making it so much fun. And on that note, we are